integrate the tangent squared of 8x times the secant to the fourth power of 8x. So let's go ahead and work through this solution. So whenever you have powers of secant and tangent, there is a general rule that you can use to help you figure out the problems. So if you have an even power of secant, you want to save a secant squared. If you have an odd power of tangent, you want to save a secant tangent. So even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. So here, our tangent's even, so that's no good. But we do have an even power of secant, so we're going to save a secant squared. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So this is tan squared of 8x. And then we're saving a secant squared. So this will be secant squared of 8x times secant squared of 8x. So you see, by save a secant squared, I mean bring it over here with the dx. Okay, so secant squared times secant squared is secant to the fourth, so everything is still okay. So because we save a secant squared, that means u is going to be tangent. And the reason is the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So now you'll notice that this is a problem still. So there is an identity that tells us that 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. So we'll use an identity to convert the secant squared to tangent. So this will be tangent squared of 8x. And then secant squared will turn into 1 plus tangent squared of 8x. And then we still have our secant squared here that we saved. So secant squared of 8x dx. Again, we have an even power of secant, so we choose to save a secant squared. So we're good. That means u is tangent, but that's, then this is a problem because this is not a tangent. So we convert it to tangents, and now we're finally in a position where we can make our substitution. Let's go ahead and find our du. So the derivative of u is secant squared. So here it's secant squared of 8x times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 8x is 8. And then we have our dx. We have to make this match our integral, so we'll divide both sides by 8. This ends up being 1 8 du equals secant squared of 8x. And then we have our dx. All right, good stuff. So now we're ready to go. So this piece here is going to be our 1 8 du. So this will become... 1 8 and then all the tangents are u's, so u squared, parentheses, 1 plus u squared, and then here we have our du. Let's just double check that, so this is 1 8 du. Yep, looks okay, and all the tangents became u's. I guess we'll go ahead and distribute. This is 1 8 so u squared times 1 is u squared. And then u squared times u squared is u to the fourth. We still have our du. Let's go ahead and distribute the 1 eighth and integrate at the same time. So this is 1 eighth. Using the power rule, we'll add 1, so that'll become u to the third. Then you divide by the 3. Plus, then distribute the 1 eighth. And then it'll be u to the 5, because you add 1. And then you divide by the 5. And then we have r plus c. I think it looks OK. So this is going to be 1 over 24. 3 times 8 is 24. Our u was tangent of 8x. This is tangent cubed of 8x plus 8 times 5 is 40, so this is 1 over 40 tangent to the 5th power of 8x. And let's not forget our constant of integration, capital C. And that would be the final answer. This is a really nice problem. It's a very uh, standard question in the sense that if you know the technique, you can do it. So remember, if you have an even power of secant, save a secant squared. If you have an odd power of tangent, save a secant tangent. Whenever you save a secant squared, 
you let u be the other one. So let u be tangent so that the derivative of tangent ends up being secant squared. Good luck.